Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. This is a work vlog. I feel like I haven't done one in a long time, which isn't really true. I did one the other day, but it was really short. So anyways, y'all, I'm a little perturbed. Just gonna hop right into this because I'm in my feelings. So this trip that I'm working, I wasn't even supposed to be working this darn trip. Originally, I, I got in from San Francisco this morning at um, like midnight. Went to sleep around 2, and I was supposed to have the remainder of the day off. Sorry, y'all. I'm, like, putting on my hosiery and whatnot. Um, but I guess in my drunken sleep, which I wasn't drunk, but, you know, like, as flight attendants, at least me, a lot of us, we're always, like, Flicka stalking. Flicka is our, um, basically, like, our scheduling website where we can drop ads, swap trips, and all kind of things. Um... So originally I was supposed to have the rest of the day off and then I was going to work a trip to San Francisco tomorrow morning and a trip popped up on the board for today to go to Vegas for the number one position. And as the number one position, I get paid four extra dollars more. So my mind was just like, oh yeah, let me swap into that one. I'll be good by report time, blah, blah, blah. Because I was, I was legal for the trip, legal for the trip meaning I had enough rest in between my last trip and the beginning of this trip because, you know, we have all these rest rules. So, my little flick of fingers, I got happy and I swapped the trip before even actually looking at the exact trip, the exact pairing. Oh my gosh, my lips are so dry. Um, oh, child, hold on. <laughs> that is the worst. I'm not... I'm just putting on something to get a little moisture. Lord have mercy. I don't even know if I'm going to wear that lip today, but... Woo! I just got out the shower, and my lips are always dry when I get out the shower. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, I didn't even look at the trip before I swapped, and it was processing, and I looked at it, and the stupid trip, number one trip, but I have to deadhead from JFK to Boston, and then work Boston to Vegas. Which is just, it's okay. Most people enjoy a deadhead because, you know, you're, you're getting paid not to do anything, just to fly in a passenger seat. But for me, hold on, I can't, hold on. Okay, I had to get my life together there. But for me, working meant um, all of our trips, regardless of how long the flight time is. I've talked about flight time and how we get paid. We get paid for flight time. Um, regardless of if it's a four hour flight, we get paid for eight hours. So simply now I have to fly for a longer time. I'm basically flying for about, the trip is blocked for seven and a half hours and I'm only going to get paid for eight because that's just what we get paid for. Now, if it was more than eight hours, if the trip was like nine hours, I would get paid nine hours. But since it's less than the eight, I'm still just going to get paid for the eight but I'm doing more flying. So I'm just so perturbed at myself for picking up the trip before even looking at it. And then I couldn't drop or swap it anymore because we can only drop or swap trips 12. This isn't the belt that I wanna wear. I wanna wear the skinnier one. Um, we can only drop or swap trips um, before 12 p.m of the day before the trip or something like that so the trip is today at 505 is my report so i would have had to drop the trip yesterday before 12 p.m so basically all in all i'm stuck with the trip um boston cruise i mean meh, i don't know i don't want to say they're boring but they always just look so bland like when you're passing by them in the hallway you know like yeah, I mean, we cruise each other all the time and JFK cruise just looks so live and excited and you know fun Boston cruise always look boring so yes I'm being biased um, but whatever you know I just call and then the thing about it now is as I'm sitting here supposed to be getting ready for work 
Sorry, I'm not looking at you, y'all. And don't judge my life right now. Y'all see all of this? For the month of June, I have not spent a full 24 hours in New York. That is no lie. I have not spent a full 24 hours here. I told y'all, I got in this morning at 12 a.m. And I'm, I'm leaving out now. Like, not one day has been a full day in New York. So, my room, my bed, everything is just a mess. Um, but, yeah. Um, yeah. But, oh my gosh, my brain is so sidetracked today. Um, but then, as I'm getting ready for work, the same trip that I'm about to work, but instead it starts at JFK, ends at JFK, instead of having a deadhead to Vegas, pops up on the board. Number one position, which I could have just swapped into it, but I can't because of our time restrictions. So anyways, I'm trying to get in a good mentality here. I don't want to be all bitter towards the Boston crew, you know, because I'm going to be the only JFKer there. Even even the pilots are Boston. <laughs> So I'm just trying to get in a good mindset. Um, going to Vegas, I have a 33-hour layover there. So maybe I can go find a pool party to jump into or something tomorrow. Like, who knows? But um, I need to stop talking because I have 20 minutes to go catch the shuttle. And my suitcase is empty. Ah, I gotta go. First leg of the day. I haven't said that in a very long time. Because y'all know I only do one leg a day, but since I'm not working this leg, I shall not complain. And it's a very quick flight. JFK to Boston, 35 minutes. Um, and then I think I have like an hour sit in Boston because we land super early and flight doesn't leave until like 9.45 tonight. So here we go, y'all. Let's go. So I'm on board. Boston crew isn't that bad. They're actually really nice and sweet, so we'll see how this trip goes, but gotta go. About to start boarding. Okay, y'all. I think I have a little under two hours left in flight. Um, I'm drinking some peppermint tea. It gets cold on these planes, especially at night when, you know, sun ain't out, the air cold, my feet are cold. So I'm drinking some peppermint tea to keep me warm. All the customers on board are just like really nice, really chill. We have 25 children on this flight to Vegas and they're all so polite, which is always good. Um, I do have one customer who's a little, I think he has like some type of mental illness. I'm not really sure. We don't have any paperwork or anything on him, but um, he came on board saying, you know, he was supposed to have a mint seed and you know, he's upgraded and all kind of things. So I had to figure that out, which he, he was upgraded to our even more space seats, but not our mint seat. So that was like one little struggle with him. And then I've had a few customers like kind of complain, saying like, he's like drooling and they feel like he like is either drunk or on drugs or something like that. I don't necessarily think that's the case. I just think that, you know, he's just mentally ill somehow i don't know exactly what but i'm talking to him and he's very calm he's really nice but he's a little like kind of all over the place he was making some customers feel really uncomfortable so i did my best to like kind of shift people around without making him feel uncomfortable as well but you know what can you do and just i mean that's a part of the job you really have to be sensitive to the way you speak to people and you handle them because you just don't know you can't assume that you know somebody's high on whatever because they're acting weird or whatever the case may be you know these situations can be really sensitive sometimes and y'all know I'm not trying to lose my job so I've been trying to deal with him and handle him the best way that I can so okay this turbulence look it's rocking we got some turbulence and some um, storms throughout the skies, so we've been kind of rocking back and forth all night, But which is good because that means customers sit down and it, it, it kind of helps most people sleep. Some people are just up watching TV or whatever, um, but I'm ready to get there. I'm ready to go to bed. Anyway, so just wanted to check in with y'all. Talk later. Vegas has no chill. 
like me in Vegas, I, I think I just have to stop working these Vegas flights because I didn't even tell y'all, I didn't vlog that trip, but my last Vegas trip was horrible. Long story short, I had about 10 customers on board that were obnoxious, drunk, um, just using profanity, um, were, weren't being very nice to one of my crew members. Uh, me and that crew member didn't really vibe. Like, we didn't have any issues, but we didn't really vibe. She ended up calling the captain, having the cops come to the gate and, and basically escort those people off the plane and they couldn't they can't fly an airline for another 90 days blah blah and then, so that happened on my last vegas trip right it was an ordeal and now today i had my first medical i've almost made it to one year without having a real medical like having to fill out the med link form and all of that stuff and now tonight on the way to vegas i'm chilling we got about an hour left in flight and here comes a lady running up to me. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my dad can't breathe. Say what? So it's like instantly, like, I don't know what I was doing. I was sitting there swiping left and right. <laughs> and instantly, you know, you just drop everything and you go into every the mode of everything they teach you during training. Medical team. Let's figure out what's going on with the guy. Anyways gentleman is fine um it seems like he just he was sitting in his seat seems like he fainted while he was in his um sitting there he was just non-responsive his daughter thought he had stopped breathing and she thought he was gone and you know whatever so we handled the situation <sighs> but i'm just like man i only have drama on my flights when it's vegas what is up with vegas Anyways, y'all, I'm tired. Y'all have seen this hotel room before. I'm not showing it to y'all again. I'm going to bed. Talk to y'all in the morning. Well, it is morning because what time is it? It's 1 a.m. Vegas time. 1 a.m. Good night. Good morning. I woke up with such a horrible headache, y'all. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't. I have no idea. So I went downstairs and got some breakfast in the hotel. It's crazy packed. It's summertime in Vegas. There's people everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that probably means the gym is going to be a little full so I'll probably give it a few hours to die down um, my F4 F3 what is she? I think she's F3 um, she, this is her first time to Vegas she's been in flight for two years and she's like I've never been to Vegas she's so sweet she's the cutest girl ever so I told her um, I would go walk the strip and things like that with her So, but more than likely she's probably still asleep so I'm probably going to hop back in the bed. I need to do my report for that medical that happened. Um, first medical, y'all. I haven't had to do no reports. I've literally, it's almost been a full year. When did I start training? June 25th? Or is it June 28th? June 25th. And today is the 24th. I almost made it a year of being in flight without having to do any reports and medical type stuff or whatever but hey at least i know training stuck with me it stuck with me <laughs> anyways y'all i'm gonna just lay here for a bit watch some westworld finish up my breakfast and chill see y'all on the strip hi guys so we're finally out and about and we're gonna go into the mall y'all know my favorite store zara is having their semi-annual sale so Y'all already know. It's, it's time to shop a little bit. So I didn't find anything at Zara, guys. I was specifically looking for some earrings. Um, since I've come back from Cuba, all my jewelry has went missing. I don't know if somebody stole it or if I just left it somewhere, but all of my cute earrings are gone. So I've been looking to replace them. But anyways, me and Alex are gonna go in the Venetian now and find some food. This is her first time in Vegas, so she's like in awe. <laughs> so, we found a place for lunch. It's called Black Tap. Black burgers. Just a regular, regular, but they have these fun, crazy shapes. So, I must try one. They look insane. So, we're gonna go get 
truffle burger. Burgers on here somewhere. It looks so delicious. Gouda cheese and all kind of goodness. So these are all the ingredients. This is where the magic happens for the shake. I'm ready to see all this yumminess. more flight after this so the crew actually wasn't that bad very sweet crew very nice crew so Boston I won't be so mm, towards y'all y'all we all aren't so bad but I'm still I still love my JFK anyways um, it's gonna be a, a pretty quick flight four hours and 40 minutes from Vegas to Boston um, and then I sit for about an hour and then I do J uh, Boston JFK I don't want that flight just riding deadheading and yeah, that's it. And then tomorrow I'll start a four day. So woohoo, let's go. And I'm almost done. <laughs> Flight was super nice, super easy. Oh my gosh. We had a completely full um, mint section, 16 out of 16. Everybody was so nice and so sweet, so kind, so complimentary. Like, I just, I love flights like that. Love, 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 love flights like that. Um, anyways, now I'm here at the gate in Boston waiting for my flight to JFK and then I'll be done. So that's it, y'all. That's it. Nothing else to do. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye!